Welcome back to our channel CNC Train from MTAP Technology Center. This is the fourth video in our pick and play series. In this video, we will learn how to configure the input output card and signal in the AVB Robot Studio 6.05. Input output cards are used to link robot controllers with the computer. To put them to operation, we will first need to configure them. And by doing the input output configuration, we will be able to add the signal to the input output system. To do that, we will first need access to the controller. So make sure that we have done the needful. After that, we will configure the input output signal settings of the vacuum gripper. Now we will move forward with the demo and learn about each step of the configuration in detail. Welcome to this demo on configuring the input output card and signal. Input output card configuration helps you to add a signal in the input output system. The signal will be an input to the controller from the field devices or output from the controller to the field devices. You must have appropriate access to the controller to be able to open the add signal window. In this demo, you will perform the input output card and signal configuration in the robot system. Click or press next to continue. In the configuration input output system pane, in the configuration input output system pane, right click signal. Select new signal. In the instance editor window, in the name field, enter the signal name as output 1. Output 1 is configured to the open or close functions of the vacuum gripper in the input and output system. Click the drop down arrow in the type of signal field. Select digital output as the signal type. The digital signal is selected to control the open or close functions of the vacuum gripper. Click the drop down arrow in the assigned to device field. The assigned to device field allows you to define the input and output unit to which the signal belongs. Select input output underscore card as the device type. Input and output system configuration is covered in the previous activity. Click in the device mapping field. The device mapping field allows you to define the bits in the input and output memory map of the assigned unit to which the signal is mapped. Enter the value in the field. In this case, enter 1. Now, the bit address will be set as 1. Click OK to close the Instance Editor dialog box. Click OK again to close the ABB Robot Studio dialog box. A restart of the controller is necessary for the changed parameters to take effect. On the Controller tab, in the Controller Tools group, click Restart. Select Restart, Warm Start. The controller will be restarted and any changes made to the system will be activated post the restart. Click OK to restart the controller. You have successfully configured the input and output card and signal in the robot system. If you found this video helpful, you can also check out our other videos in the pick and play series to learn more. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below or visit our website cnctrain.com to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Till then, stay curious and keep learning. New videos releasing every Friday. Thank you.